You got to tap into the young people. I was having, I always had this conversation. You got to tap in with the young people. Adriana, the young people, the young voices of the city. Yeah. Starlito the same way. Like, uh, I, I feel like he supports the city way. You feel me? He, he do his, he do his part, but yeah. it's about that time. We got to start tapping into the young audience. Like I said, they Starlitos, they Bucks. We respect them. We came yes. up respecting them. We love, we love. They just reach, it ain't, they ain't even got to promote our music or do none of that. We not ask for that, but if y'all can just, Reach out, hey bro, yeah. I like what you doing. Or if you come on, that'll go a long way, bro. Cause yeah. we we respect y'all, bro. If you a live subscribe show, um, it ain't really no special way I can introduce this show today. But uh, one thing I do want to tell you is something new happened, and um, we've been kind of planning this for a while and a while and a while. And it finally happened. I'm going to tell you, before I even introduce her, I called paper. I had to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. One of the purple I called when paper, this is what paper said. Her energy, your energy, her spirit, your spirit. I'm going to let her introduce herself. We got a new host to the show. Uh, a, a new host to the show, if you're alive. I'm going to let her. What's up, y'all? Y'all see who it is. Y'all know who it is. I go by the name of Adriana, the personality, the voice of my city, the voice of Cashville. And I'm really excited to, you know what I'm saying, collaborate on the If You Have Live Subscribe podcast. I've had an honor to be um, a guest on the show and to be able to watch the show grow and watch the many different guests on this platform and um, to be invited uh, on the show as an official host and to do it and do it right and continue to do it right for my city. You know, I had to say it. Yes. So we about to go up. I told you Cashville going global and I'm really excited for all the surprises. Um, a major uh, guest and you know what I'm saying? Little treats we got for our city coming up. So I'm excited to be here. Thank you so much for the opportunity, Ricky. Uh, I want to say this real quick. And, and, and I got to Adriana is the real voice of Cashville. <laughs> Um, she really, and not on just being serious, like she really speaks for us in a good way. You know what I'm saying? And, um, if you come to Nashville and the other day she posted something, I'm not going to put it out there, but some very, very important people, people reached out to her and, uh, we just, I'm not going to, if she put it out there, it's cool. I kind of saw a little snippet of it, but, uh, she really speaks for us in a good way. And we have adopted her to be the voice, so it ain't no other voice than Ariana. And it, and it is thank what it is, you, you know you, what I'm thank saying? Thank you, I'm excited. But, but look, and this is what I want to do before we go to our guest, because uh, we got a good guest today. It's going it's to be amazing. I want to say this. I've been hearing, hearing everybody say, you need to get behind this person, get behind this person. I'm going to tell you something. We all need to get behind Starlito and Grand Heart. For sure. Um, Ariana, look, I'm going to say something. Women lie, men lie, numbers don't. The numbers never lie. Okay. And and we're so caught up in thinking everybody's the most hot artist and all this and that. And that's fine. We everybody got so much talent in Nashville. Like Absolutely. we are very talented. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But when it comes to numbers, we're not fooled by the numbers. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. can look at your platform and say and kind of what you're doing, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Beyond the numbers, it's it's about influence at this point because I just feel like it's all about who is making an impact on the community, who is actually out here in the field actively making people change their lives, changing their perspectives, changing the way they think, changing the way that they move, you know what I'm saying, on a positive tip. So it's beyond numbers for me. It's beyond numbers. You, hey, I, that's why I, I'm, I'm so happy. Saying. I'm so happy you're hey, here. You know, I'm just saying. But and this, but, but this, this is what I'm saying. Um, Star, he took a three year b b break, but he came back out. He worked. He working with the young people. You know what I'm saying? And ooh, that's the future, man. And he's pouring it. I mean, beyond his label, beyond Grindheart, beyond the artists that he's directly working with. I mean, he's working with me, with me and my artists and. Artists beyond me, you know what I'm saying? So I actually see him on the ground actively working. If you're doing your part, he's doing his part. And so shout out to Sarlita. And so if we're representing somebody, if we're getting behind something, because we're actually getting behind the label, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, we got 615 schools here today. I'm going to go and get straight to him. Woo! Like, you know, we, we were able to touch on it. What welcome, you, welcome, was we welcome. wrong or right or what's going on? Yeah, man, I welcome, appreciate y'all, man. Hey, I'm just, I'm just happy to be here, man. I'm super excited for what y'all got going on. 
Again, thank y'all for having me, man. Yes. I mean, I'm super excited, and uh, I agree with everything y'all just said. We got to get behind everybody in the city. Not sure. just one label, not just one person, but everybody in the city, everybody who making an impact. And like Ariana said, it's not just about the numbers. You right, too. The numbers do speak, but right. a lot of that stuff can be fabricated. We got to get, Most you feel me? A lot of people got influence. Yeah. They might not have the most numbers, you feel me? But they so got, the, they got the that influence, though, you there. feel me? I feel yeah. like if 500 important people see your stuff, it don't matter about 10,000 yeah. nobodies, you feel me? Facts. I mean, of course, we appreciate those 100%. people. 100%. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And I wasn't even just talking about as in um, not supporting, nope. Like, I'm saying everybody. Yeah. 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 But um, you just highlighting. Yeah. I'm just highlighting. Yeah, shout out, shout yeah, out know everybody, saying, though. Shout you know out. Yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. 100%, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Um. Have anybody seen the Dame Dash thing with the teeth falling down? Oh, my gosh. What, what happened? I, hey, seen you know? I don't know. You know, he said that it wasn't his dentures. Okay. It was his grill, but nothing was left. <laughs> so I think the grill got stuck to the dent. Everything fell out. I don't know. That's just what my eyes saw. I don't know what happened with that know, situation. You know. It was ugly, though. Just, I know, you know it was. Want to, but let me ask you. It made I, me look like I, Granddaddy Dame. You went from yeah. Uncle Dame to Granddaddy that quick. <laughs> that <laughs> that in two quick. seconds. That quick. <laughs> but let me ask you, I want I want both of y'all to kind of give y'all input on this. Like, okay. um, and this is a real life question. When it comes to like Dame and Jay, like with them coming up together and doing everything they've done, with Jay seeing Dame down like he is, with even with you six, would you would have been there saying, like, yeah, I know we going through our thing, but man, I'm gonna go on and nah. I mean, okay. I send I send him love, but man, Dame didn't. Shout out to Dame too, but Dame, if you like, I don't know too much of the history, but seeing how Dame used to act or then said some stuff or some stuff, just it's better just love you from a distance. You yeah. feel me? And uh, I feel like the history is there. They made history, but you just gotta wish them the best. I ain't giving you nothing though. That's you, it. you you ruined that. I'm oh. agree. You ruined that. It's no better way to say it. No, I'm straight like it. Exactly. I ain't. I ain't I love you. Like I can send a prayer. You're straight like that. That's it. Yeah, the perfect opportunity. He still got the perfect opportunity. Yeah. If he play it right, you mm -hmm. still damn dash. Yeah, you still him. You feel me? Come on, you never gonna be broke. You just gotta play it right. I wanna, I wanna ask because we we here and we gonna talk. We we're talking Cashville today. You know, what right, I'm saying that's just Cashville. what for this first show. We just want to open up. Um, Buck is out of the deal finally. You know what I'm saying? And so, where should we be headed? when we're supporting him and promoting, you know what I mean? Like, are we, you know what I'm saying? Well, that's on him. I feel like it's all about, you know, where he want to go. Okay. Wherever, whatever he put out, whatever he's putting out for us to support, that's what we're going to support. We really can't choose for him. So okay. wherever he want to go, we just got to be, you know, as long as it aligns with whoever, whatever, you know what I'm saying, the individual, and they feel like it's something that they should be supporting, that's what, we, you know, that's what we're supporting. So. Okay. That's what I heard. That's listen, how I feel. Buck is Buck. We ain't taking that from the. He still make good music. He still, he still, he still Buck. I never take that from him. But sure. he also got to support the city too. You feel me? I feel like he doing that a lot more. But I feel like he should definitely support the city more. And I feel like it's a lot of artists that he could have bent got behind, show love to. Huh. You feel me? We would have loved that. We would have loved that Buck stamp. Not just me, but we would have loved that Buck stamp. You feel me? It ain't too late to do it. But I feel like we. Buck is Buck, like I said. Yeah, we go support yeah. him, but he also got to support us. Even, you feel it, me? Yeah. even just like Star, uh, it's time to start supporting the the, exactly. the the people. Obama said it best when he said the young people always kind of control the structure. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so we, if we're doing anything, we're making sure the the ones that's coming. You gotta, yeah, you, you gotta. gotta sorry to cut you off. You gotta tap into the young people. I was having, I always had this conversation. You gotta tap in with the young people. Avriana, the young people, the young voices nice. of the city. Yeah. Star Lido, the same way, like. Uh, I, I feel like he supports the city way. You feel me? He he does he does part, but yeah. it's about that time we got to start tapping into the young audience. Like I said, they Starlitos, they Bucks. We respect them. We yes. came up respecting them. We love, we love. They just reach. It ain't they ain't even gotta promote our music or do none of that. We not ask for that. But if y'all can just reach out, hey bro, yeah. I like what you doing. Or if you come on, that'll like, go a long way, bro. Cause yeah. we, we respect y'all, bro. Somebody who does that, Quanny Cash. You respect, might not see yeah. him. On the forefront of common or whatever, but he going to make, hey, you know what I'm saying? I see you. I support you. I'm exactly. pour, like pouring into you. You know what I'm saying? Like that's somebody um, that I, I mean, I call him like the godfather yeah, uh, yeah, of yeah. Cashville, but um, he's somebody who is a perfect example f to, for me. You know what I'm saying? I can't say he does it for everybody, but uh, he's definitely an OG. You know what I'm saying? That I can't, I'm talking about fourth grade, like 
oh my gosh, oh my gosh, he he finna come in my classroom, like oh <laughs> yeah. my god, you know. So uh, he definitely uh, one of them ones. He yeah, definitely one of them ones. he is the one. I ain't gonna lie, that's one person I respect. You feel me? I I say Quantic Cash, like even the way the business side of doing everything on his own. Of course, we need people, but how he just independent the whole way. Yeah, he definitely one one person I take notes from and. He always show love. So he put up on my well. He, I seen him on, at my last video. So he stopped and talked to me. He always mm-hmm. show love. Like, that's one person. He go let you know. He see you. He go like, yep. comment. He go reach out to you. Yep. I see you, bro. Do you feel me? I see you, little bro. Like yeah. that's one person I respect. That yeah. means um, just for the just for the artists out there and the, like that means so much to the people like liking or commenting. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And just really telling people to keep going. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so that's what I respect. What you said, six, like that's all that's all it really is about. You know yeah, what I mean? Exactly. And if we ain't doing something right, you can say something. Let as me well, know. Exactly. You know what I'm yeah. Exactly. Like I said, it gotta be reciprocated. Yeah. But not honestly care so much about the likes or the comments, but when it's those people, especially if you if you make it got motion in the city, come on, you it see Quantic so Cash name, you see well, Starlito name, you, you see Buck yeah. name or something. Oh, your comments? That's gonna be motivation, bro, to keep going. Yes. Even if that's the only fu- even if that's I'm sorry, I don't know if I can cook, even if that's the only one, bro. Like we don't live for validation, but bro, these are people who stamped in the city and, and so just just that little you. one thing, bro. Oh man, I, 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 I'm finna, I'm finna go hard. You yeah. feel me? Like they don't, I don't think they understand how, how much influence they really got, bro. Yeah. And I, I really appreciate it if they. But what what keeps you going, hey, Brianna? Because like you're <clears throat> you're hosting, then you're over here, and then now you managing. Like what keeps you? Like who who who? What keeps you stable? You so know what I'm saying? I think the motivation. I think like for me, it's like I have a different, uh, you know, perspective or a different uh, side of it. You know, when it comes to like OG supporting, you know what I'm saying? Because they are artists. They are in the in the game, like just like Buck and Lita. Whereas I'm in the game as a journalist, you know, as a TV host or a radio personality. So um, I feel like my journey is different. You know, a lot of my motivation is like internally built or like given to me in visions like I told you like before like a lot of my things I feel a lot of my ideas like are directly from spirit you know what I'm saying because I'm creating something so uh, something new something that's never been done before so I think a lot of my motivation comes from the meditations and the working out and the you know me going to church and the preaching and you know what I'm saying all that little stuff like that's that like that's the bulk of my energy that's the bulk of my motivation um so I, I really don't outsource um how do you choose um who you support and the reason i say this is because um you can't put anything on your page mm-hmm. you've been ahead bishop walker be like hey Ronald, what are you, you know what i'm saying, <laughs> right. you know what I'm saying? And so so when it's it's something that you can't like really put out there like how do you support those people as well just um going on their page personally supporting a uh, comment tagging um buying merch you know um i support in different ways like you said a lot of things i can't post on my page if it's not in alignment with my brand Most definitely. but um i'm supporting in all different showing up yeah. i'm there you said you got a show i'm there you know what i'm saying or you said you selling merch you know i'm buying it you know yeah. so um it's it's a lot of different ways to support where you know what i'm saying it's not per se blasting you on my platform okay. uh yeah. so those are just some some minor ways but a lot of time it's me pouring into people i'm on the phone all day every day pouring into people by by three o'clock i'm drained i don't got nothing else i don't have any more motivational words guys okay I got to put myself on the charger and then let me just see what God gonna tell me and then maybe I can come back and in a seat on your behalf. But oh uh, yeah, a lot of my t- a lot of my time is spent. Um, most of my motivation or how I give back is pouring into people. Cause I, and I want to go to uh, six on this, but I wanted to clarify some what I'm saying. When I even when I'm talking about Grand Hard and Starlito and what they're doing over there, like big top, you got. You got Big Top, you know what I'm saying? You got like, Big Top is really popping. Even when I'm talking about them, I'm saying like, support is just little things. You know what I'm saying? It's just a, it's just a share. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, go over to everybody's YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's all support is. We're not saying like, oh, they did it. No, they, we just saying, show your part of support on whoever's doing something. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. And even with you six. Uh, coming from rap and stuff like, what made you just come over to the media side of this thing? You know what I mean? I, I really mm. enjoy you in the media. Now I, I got to get your flowers right. I say this all the time. Al Six and Sleep TV, what's Sleep TV, 
it's the two biggest platforms in Nashville. That's it. I appreciate y'all. I give it that. I give. I give them that. You up there too, man? Stop <laughs> that. But I appreciate I it. I, I appreciate it. I ain't it. got a brand. I'm, you can give me that. Yeah, I appreciate but I'm just, it. I gotta get yeah. y'all. You know what I'm saying? Right. So what made you? Man, honestly, I've been wanting to do it for every I know I've been wanting to do it for years. Since like I really wanted to start in like 2020, but I was going through a lot of mental stuff. You feel me? I was like, I was down bad. Uh last time I came in, I was talking about the break. I was just losing all my people, you feel me? Like through deaths and stuff. So you know, I was just going through a lot mentally, having suicidal thoughts and stuff like that. So I just kind of How do you it deal went to with the back burner? It, How do you deal with your mental? When you know you going through something mental, do you get help or how did you how did you Man, deal? You know I what almost I'm saying? lost it, bro. Now, you... I almost lost it, yeah. But now, like, I just got a relationship with God. You know, I talk to God every single day. Every, no matter how the day go, I pre God, I appreciate you for this day. Like, cause I feel like I already hit my Lord's man. So just me waking up and being able to do what I'm doing, like I, I, I'm thankful. You feel me? But what made me get into the media is, like I said, I always wanted to do it. I know I got the personality for it. I know I got the love for it. It's just I didn't know how I wanted to get into it. I didn't know how I wanted to do it. Did I? Um, a lot of um, I didn't know if I wanted to have the artist base, interview base. Or what? But I kind of figured it out as the years went on. Or and then I just I just said I'm finna start. I'm just finna go. I don't know if you remember that video I put out there. I was like, man, I'm just finna go. I'm just finna start. And ever since then, I just said I'm just finna stay in their face, bro. I figured it out as I go. Do you think mm-hmm. it's the love for the artist? Why you wanted to hop in kind of that lane when you're dealing with the artist? You know what I'm saying? That and I also feel like Nashville need more platforms. You feel right. me? I feel like Nashville is going in a good direction with these platforms. And uh, and I just love like helping people, giving back. I feel like this is my way of giving back. Even with the shout out to God Sundays or just getting on there, motivating the people. I feel like that's a way of giving back. Or yeah. every time I hit a different thousand followers, I I do a giveaway. Like I don't know. I feel like I'm I'm doing a good service. You hear me? No, shout out to, I mean, uh, it's like- DJ Sunny D. Yeah. Yeah, shout yeah. out Sunny D, man. Yeah, R- R- DJ Sunny D. D, you know what yes. I'm saying? Did you have what kind of did you have any kind of experience with him? Abraham? Oh you know yeah, absolutely. A, a wonderful person, first of all. Very just full of literally full of love, belly rubs, and you know what I'm saying? And like that's that's what I know him as. But we had a lot of um a lot of gigs together uh through the course of our journey. Uh we met at Streets Nine Nine Three. He came on as a DJ. I was a radio personality and that's how I met a lot of a lot of the DJs that went to T S U and that were in the game um during that time in twenty twenty. Um, and from there, uh, we worked together uh, on some South by Southwest projects. Uh, we worked together downtown. I think it was one of my first times hosting with him. At, he got me booked. He was the one who got me booked at Vibes to host a TSU Homecoming Weekend. Um, I mean, you know, he also was my artist DJ, um, one of my artist DJs. So, uh, and then literally sunday y'all labor day we and him were literally at nora waiting on uh to Zeki, the baddies uh to show up to do an interview her flight ended up being delayed so we never got to do the interview and like it was just mind-blowing but uh like i said condolences to his condolences and love to his family and his friends um and everybody uh in his hometown like cashville loves him and we would forever hold his name um uh, sure. keep his name alive when it's when it's dealing with uh the media, hey, Bronner, because you've been doing this way longer than me and six. Um, how do you choose who you deal with in the media? And is it like a competition thing or just you've been in it longer than us? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So how do you deal with everybody that's in our space? How do I deal with just you like, guys? You know, just like just everybody that's in the media space in Nashville, like how do we post to deal with each other and when it's working in the media? Because we 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 really new to this, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, cause everybody's trying to make it to the same place. Um, and not that are we, not that we're against each other, but how do we work together more when it's considering the media? Um, showing up. I mean, I think everybody got their own lane. Everybody has their own space, their own focus, you know. Um, and because there's so many people in the world, everybody, you know what I'm saying, you can't you can't touch everybody. One person can't touch everybody. So we need a lot of us in these spaces to highlight all the zillion people in Music City that we have here that has a story. Um, so I think showing up in those same spaces, being able to build those relationships like um 
I was able to build a lot of great relationships with a lot of uh, Atlanta reporters and things of that nature because I was always on every carpet. Every So really, if all media is showing up to everybody's event, okay. you'll get acquainted with one another. Then you start helping each other. Then you start, you know what I'm saying? So we That's supposed to be of, together, too, is what, is what I'm asking. Yes. Like, it's just, you know what I mean? It ain't no comp. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not in, just putting it out there like yeah. mm-hmm. That's what I. That's how I look at it. So yeah, no, I don't think. I mean, you know, it may be, you know, it's slight. You know I'm saying everybody wants to be the best, so you know, what I'm saying you may have those, you know, those physical uh, thoughts, you know, that come, but they come and then they go. You know, what I'm saying you are entitled to feel how you want to feel. Everybody wants to be the best. Yeah. Uh, Supposed so, to feel like that. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. If you don't, then you need to move around and find something. That's, you know, what I'm saying that makes you passionate, that makes you feel like that. Um, but at the end of the day, I feel like. The, the the bigger message is like 615 Exclusive just said, it looks so good when you have a lot of us doing the same thing and winning. You know what I'm saying? Having yeah. successes. You are having success, a success on YouTube. Yeah. He's having success on Instagram and YouTube with all the artists from all over, not just Nashville and yeah. in, in the dim. Demographic in the DMV reaching out to him. You know what I'm saying? I'm having success. I I, I just want an award show for my radio show being on the country platform. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. need seeing us all win in our own way, in our own lane. It's necessary. It's needed. So, yes, definitely no competition. Yes, definitely everybody should want to be the best and be on top. But you know what I'm saying? Only one can win and everybody has an appointed time. So just stay patient. What's your real passion, Six? Like, <laughs> like what does you know what I'm saying? What does what, like God. what does six first see? You know what I'm saying? Like your real passion. You know what I'm saying? Because um, and I keep I keep giving you your flowers, but I gotta give them to you on like you are just. Te- I say this about Adriana, and not just because she's here, and I say this about you. Y'all just talented in whatever y'all do. So Appreciate it's just it, like bro. it's just like your rap career, and now your media career is like it's both of me. Just hand. you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. I, and so, uh, what's yeah. your real thing? Honestly, man, I feel like it's just offering a service. I feel like, cause I feel like music is. I feel music. I'm gonna just say music, cause I I have a hard time answering that question as well. But cause the, the podcast is based around music, so I gotta say music. So I I definitely feel like my first love is music, and uh, but the media side is definitely up there. I ain't gonna lie, the media side is definitely up there. Cause I always said I want to be behind the scenes, be behind the camera, and I just love. When these artists like come up here on, on my platform, how they how they excited? They taking pictures in front of the backdrop. Like, who who are you they super, excited they super about dope. now? That's out here in the entertainment realm when it's talking about rap and who are you actually excited about? Like, what artists am I excited what about in Nashville? What, yeah, what artists are you really excited? Like, we all got our artists. Mine, you know, mine is Bree. You know, what I'm saying. I'm, yeah. you know what I'm I saying? see. I see you talk about Bree a lot. Shout That's, out Bree. Just, Shout out Bree. <laughs> Shout out to my soul. Shout out, Shout out to uh, I'm excited about I'm excited about just the whole wave of Nashville, okay. bro. Because I, it's a lot of good artists. I don't want to just Sing forget that. any yeah. any of them. You feel me? Because even the females, like even in the mainstream, the females is going crazy. They Love they them. they work together more than the male artists. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So uh, I I just feel like the whole wave of Nashville is going in a good direction. We definitely got a lot of good artists. Um, the Fredo Ruthless is still big top. Absolutely. Uh, the six me. You hear me? Uh, I'm finna start back dropping Sweet September poison. 18, September 18. Sweet Poison. Blazing. Meet me to go. Mm-hmm. Blaze, Meet me to go. Yeah, exactly. Meet me to go on a hell of Big a run right I can now. keep name. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm just, I can Shell keep Fox. name. Shell Fox. Shout out Shell yeah. Fox. Exactly. Yeah. Shell Fox. And, and this is what I'm saying, Adriana, but um, where do you see us going when it's talking about, because you, you got, everybody is kind of like together, but everybody ain't together. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And so, um, what is Adriana coaching people to actually do? Be themselves. Okay. Be authentically themselves. Wherever that leads you. You might not start, you start together, you may not, you may not end together, and that's okay. You know what I'm saying? That's okay. That's a part of the journey. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm coaching them. Go go out here in the world and be everybody be everything God has called you to be. With or without me. Wherever that takes you. And they know that. But I'm always in that corner, and we six one five casual girls for life. So, you know, um, we we locked in, you know. And I just I respect people's journey. A lot of people like you try to force things and keep things in alignment. No, it's okay. Be good. Be okay. You cool. We 
you know, we, we did what we did, yeah. and that was that for that moment. And we made that impactful statement, and we moving on, you know. But, I mean, you know, I just think um, the most, I guess, the best piece of advice I can give uh, in, that, in that aspect of as far as, like, how I'm coaching people to approach the game is truly being your authentic self. Go get what you want. Whatever it is you want, I don't know what you want. I tell my girls, I, I don't know it, what, what you want. I don't know what your goals are this week. Whatever that is, you tell me, and then I'm going I'm to uh, articulate and, and structure how to get there. And now, how you, now, if you do it, that's on you. I think, um, Abraham, I think you are where you are because of your <laughs> grind. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Abraham, you are so talented, but Thank I think you. it's more of your grind. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I can and I can say the th same thing for six. Like, what do you, In what aspect when you say grind? Well, for, I mean, because I'm mean, being available. Okay. Being available for whatever fits in your category. Like we was talking about Instagram, like being available to like your brand. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And even with um, me and Six want to be, a, we want a special invite to the, um, the, the what's the name of the brunch, uh, Bishop Walker. And the uh, the Rockefeller brunch. <laughs> we want to uh, we want a special yeah. invite to the Rockefeller brunch right now. I just found out about it. You I do want one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He threw me in there. I want the, one too. The, the Rockefeller exactly. brunch we need is crazy. Okay, I do understand what you're talking about. You're talking about the business expo, the business brunch. We would. I I feel like Bishop would love to have you guys. I, I mean, don't think, I don't know. I don't I don't think Bishop know me. Year. Out of all the people, you don't out of know all that. The people, I, he know me. I think he, he know me. Okay, but I, don't I was think like, I thought you me. said you, you don't think he don't know. You. I'm like, you don't know that. I don't think people, he out of he, all he the people. people, Bishop Joseph Walker the Third. Mm -hmm. What made him say, "Hey, Brown, are you gonna host this?" That was crazy to me. I didn't. It ain't that I didn't see that coming. <laughs> yeah, it's just that big of event. Are oh, you hosting the business expo? I did this year. Okay, I'm sorry. Y'all got to put me up on gala. I'll like, be missing like, some like, stuff. Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm no, no, no. That's big, though. Congratulations. Accountable. Yeah. yeah. I seen a video of you talking on, at, in front of everybody, like at Mount Zion and stuff, but yeah. that's dope. So, the, yeah. So, this is, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I'll be doing the announcements. The announcements, girl, too. The announcements, girl, at Mount Zion, too. <laughs> how, many, how many passes do he do to get there. your people in? <laughs> so, we'll know, you know what I'm saying? Now, listen, if you, if you know, if you are someone who, Need a ticket? He's gonna make sure you get a ticket. So, I'm one to one. Uh, listen, Ricky, Ricky, if you're a live subscriber, <laughs> say he needs a ticket. Six one five exclusive. Say that he needs a ticket. ticket. And Come we're on, gonna man. make Show sure they love, have man. a ticket to the 2025. Business com uh, conference brunch uh, presented by Mount Zion next year. That's what we're going to do. We'll come suited up and everything. We'll come on our best behavior. <laughs> we, they going right. to clean up too. Oh, God. We're going to clean up nice. I'm going to clean them up. Yeah, I'm going to whip them up. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. And if anything extra we got to do to clean up after some, oh, I'm God, pretty hey. sure. I'm we'll do the dishes. Like, we're just, we just happy to be there. Listen, we just want to be there. The Mount got that covered. All you got to do is show up. <laughs> okay. okay. Rip with an open heart. Ready to receive. Whatever sure. God got for you. If you got if you can do that, you got them tickets. Okay, for Six, sure. Uh what's 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 um what's our push like? Um what does it look like supporting six right now? What does that look like for us? Supporting me. Yeah, well, six one five nine. Us, just people six one five, what put, uh supporting you, what does that look like right now? Man, like like everyone said, just showing up for each other. Um even if it's just a like or a comment or whatever, because I just sometimes I just go down my Instagram and just like stuff, especially on my business page. I'll six pages go down my page and just like stuff because you never know what that'll do for somebody. You feel me? Um, sending motivational words, like even if it's just getting on Instagram and doing a video, just motivating, or even if it's just something you do every day on your Instagram story, you never know who you who you touching. So I, I feel like we just gotta support each other more. Whether just getting on songs more, coming on each other platforms more, and uh, just because I feel like. My platform the best don't mean I don't think yours the best. We Most should like like yeah. we was talking about earlier. Everybody should feel like there's the best. It's not cocky, but you gotta have you got you, you gotta have that yeah, confidence. You feel me? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You gotta have that confidence. You gotta be a little bit delusional when you're chasing a dream. That's you feel it. me? So you you got to. But so I think he was he was saying like, what does support look like for six one five exclusive from your community from six one five? So from uh, us. What does support look like? How can we show up for you in the best way? 
What's your love language? What's your support language? Uh, just your, <laughs> what's your support language? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then with the whole social media age, just being active, uh, p- sh- pulling up to shows or just going to YouTube, watching videos. It's like everything is just so media these days, on, on the phone these days. Like, unless you got a show or something or people ain't really just coming out. So I, I feel like that. that's that's it. Like and downloading and yeah, pre- like pre- reposting. It. Yeah, reposting. You got something coming out? Uh, the 18th yeah, September 18th, What's going on? man. Oh, my goodness. September Dang. 18th. It's my first song that I'm dropping in a long time. Uh, Black Hearts featuring my daughter Lyric. Yes. Uh, produced by Smokey Hendrix. Man, shout out Smokey Hendrix. I shout feel like it's coach. one of the ones. I'm finna get back dropping my music. I'm super excited about that because I got my own little platform to just roll it out through now. Al6 Entertainment. Shout out Al6 Entertainment. <laughs> uh, we just, I, I'm just, I'm just super excited, man. I'm, I feel like a whole new person. Like I got that whole new energy. I'm excited about doing music again. It's filled. Yeah, I'm. I'm just excited about everything. So Do you uh, think? Um, because I know you got some for us too. You tell me. You told me. You yeah, did. man. I forgot but about look, it. I want to ask. Uh, do, do you think Little Wayne was done fairly? No. You can't ask six that. Then he well, I'm just saying so with this Super Bowl thing, everybody oh, was pitching God. for Wayne. Super Bowl, the and Super Bowl. Kendrick Lamar. Oh. What's I mean, is that fair? Like, I would did Yo, we get did we get listen, played? Listen, I felt guys, played. It's all a public. I feel like it's all a publicity stunt. There is no way they're gonna have a Super Bowl in 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 Baton Rouge in Louisiana and not include him. He's definitely I know gonna he be. He's gonna be brought out. He's gonna have his own segment. I, I just think you know, that's still disrespect. The I think the statement. I mean, just be brought out. If like we talking money, we don't care about that. Okay, you got to think about. The real business yeah. on the back end. You yeah, they, don't, they, don't, they don't even pay those artists for the, to perform at the Super Bowl. But I feel like... Dependent... No, 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 no. Some of them do. Some of them do get... Depending on, like, the number... Because uh, it's all about money. So every for that whole hour, all the way down to commercials, is about, it's about a dollar. Yeah. So everybody getting some. Some coming in, some going out. But it may not be what they get on a tour or whatever. Exactly. Whatever, whatever it may be. Um, But I definitely think that it's some... Business done to where we we his the fans may be offended, but him Lil Wayne himself, he's sitting somewhere with his feet kicked up. Cause yeah, he, he the type. He, he the type. To, he the type to who he probably declined it, and we don't even know. But yeah, I right. feel like uh, Kendrick Lamar, he a dope artist. Shout out Kendrick Lamar. But uh, Jay Z got something to do with that. Lil Wayne, so he definitely should have. He definitely should have headlined it. But I feel like even as him is just coming out as a. Uh, um, or what? A surprise. A surprise guess. I feel like he should have. He should have been a headliner. He should have brought Kendrick Lamar or somebody. But if they gave him that chance to come out as, as a surprise, should he do it? Lewayne, yeah, should he do it? But the thing would is, you, would he do it? He just in a different space. You got to think yeah. about Lewayne ain't the old Lewayne. Lewayne ain't fireman no more. Lewayne is with his feet kicked up. He put in his work. Lewayne like I feel like he world. chilling. You know what I'm saying? So. What we want, I just feel like mentally he ain't there no more. Let's okay. look at. No, nah, I, I feel like he wanted that through. Super Bowl. I feel like every artist wants that Super Bowl. That's mm-hmm. a big stage. He, That's he a big stage. Well, I don't know. I he, don't know. He different though. But I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't heard any back, yeah. back, you know, back interviews to to back up. You know what I'm saying? My statements or what I'm saying. But I do feel like it. You know, it be it be fickle. Like the media put something out there and then. Everybody be cool. Lil Wayne on the phone, FaceTime with yeah, with Kendrick Lamar. Exactly. Like that's how it, it be. It's like so, a little play with plan. Yeah, you know what, you know what, I'm, saying? what I'm saying. So it just be like I don't get into that. Like it's just that's just something to get people talking about Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? Start yeah. buying your tickets, Kendrick Lamar's money. You gotta think. Yeah, we gotta yep. think. People then, then that, yeah. Well, see, that's I need to be trained in this media. That's why I got her. See, that's why I got her here. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? But yeah. Yeah, man, I got y'all some, man. I wanted to bring y'all some. I got these. We be getting gifts and stuff on the show. That's why I like it. Listen, my first show, Six Classic 101 3D Six logo hats, man. I got to get you one, Omega. I apologize, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get you one. I got you one in the car. Omega, you want to hold on to mine? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yo, it's a snapback. Yeah, he said, hold on, my, my hair be too creased. Hey, man, there y'all go, man. Y'all can, uh, six. I know sometimes you be wearing hats every honor, so. All there the you time. go. You yeah. know, all the time. Be having on I appreciate hey, y'all, man. Hey, I6. Good quality, man. 3D. Yeah, it is. It Look, is. Six. Man, I respect you so much. You know I appreciate what I'm it, bro. Um, but I miss your artistry. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah. Like Every can we can we when are we when, when can we when are we getting something real from six like and just gonna go in the studio and really do what you do? I'm telling y'all, man, this new song. Shout out, missing me. <laughs> uh, I appreciate y'all. Hold on, cause I can go. I can go. You know song song. Song. I appreciate y'all, man. Yeah. We can get you it 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 I can't talk to you. I'm out the way now. Hold on, we gonna go song for song. What we doing? Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Listen. Oh, like a. I was just talking about an exclusive thing. Thing, thing. How did you guys? Appreciate it. Me. Hold um, on, let me let me answer that question. Let me answer okay, that question. Ahead, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, yeah. Uh, what was ahead. the question again? How am I, how am I? When when can we expect for six to really give us more of that music and okay. go hard? Yeah, on. man, I'm back in that artistry back. September 18th, my new single, Black Cards Dropping, featuring my daughter Lyric. And uh, like I said, man, it's just the beginning. Like I got my own entertainment company now, Al Six Entertainment. So I kinda it's crazy how time it work out because I'm I'm finna just start back dropping and I got my own Al Six Entertainment now so I just I'm just finna start back rolling stuff out through my own stuff so I'm back in I'm back in that bag business? bro. How do you learn the the business of the entertainment experience? Mm. Experience man, yeah. just going, just going, just just messing up, going and messing up, bro. Just going and messing up, and I'm still learning to this day. But YouTube is a big help, and that's why I feel like a lot of not that we entitled to it or whatever, but if y'all say y'all rock with us, if y'all say y'all y'all supporting us, man, y'all should be there to give us tips. I'm talking about different Nashville OGs that Facts. that we that we support and we that we supported all yeah. these years. You feel me? If y'all claim y'all rock with us and blah blah blah, man, give us tips sometimes. You feel yeah. me? If you know we yeah. respect you, if you know we we always shout you out on these interviews. Yeah, come thanks. on, bro, like. Thanks. You know, it when come on, y'all gotta we gotta we give gotta, us something. Yeah. We got yeah, we gotta educate each other. We gotta understand each other. Influence, bro. You feel me? So, got to point to the youth, but it's all good. Al Six Entertainment, we 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 doing it. And this Absolutely. is the thing about it is, um, I see some guys just doing it. May not, everybody might not, you know, what I'm saying I see some guys that doing doing it, and so you know, Al Six. And, Al Six Entertainment, you know yeah. yeah. Hold on, wait. You guys, because I need everybody huh. to know this, because you asked the question, but I'm going to let cause, okay. I mean, I'm going to let him answer it. How did we what? meet? Yeah, okay, yeah. How did... Oh, no, nah, we ain't... How did you who know, meet? That, that, Me that was, and you. Yeah, how did y'all Oh, that's meet? my cousin. What? Yeah. He thought it was finna be some other yeah. shit. Look, look. <laughs> <laughs> Got you. That's why I said it before you even said all that. That's yeah, my what cousin. You know what I'm yeah. Yo, no, no, that is literally my cousin, y'all. We used to step together. I, 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 I don't even tell if that. If we could, like, <laughs> no, we used to step together. I though. wish I could find some old videos of, like, this. We real did casual, bro. Like, you had to do I, I practice really and want, everything. This is like, Prayer like, like, new generation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we had, That's like, little, 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 little slogans and everything. But, yeah, that is my, that is literally mm. my cousin. Listen. Near, 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 coming with that gas to walk. That's embarrassing. They had us, but y'all, they had us this big. It's like middle school, doing, yep. doing gangs the walks, gangs the lean. What makes you, hey, Veronica, what makes you so cash feel like? It's just like you don't really care about nothing other than cash feel, which I, that's just, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Like, what I makes think you. As a kid, I, I met so many people. And then, like, when everybody got planted everywhere, all my people was all everywhere. So it was like I was cool with out west. You know what I'm saying? I could I, I majored at Pearl. I was out west. I was with out west people. Then, you know what I'm saying, out east. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like I would be out east, you know, family got family out east and I lived out north. You know what I'm saying? Out south, I didn't really have a lot of uh people out there, like personally, like mm-hmm. my friends, but baseball, like I would just so I just and then I think my family, like the patents. Like they have a really good rapport in the city. My dad is really a uh, community you based. You can be so selfish um, in a way of your own push. You know what I'm saying? And like you, Avery Anna ain't gonna hit nowhere, no stage, and don't say Cashville. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so, and that's why to us, uh, she, she is the voice. And if you say anything different. You can kick out of cash. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because sure. some of y'all if be she trying say to you play. Can't come, you can't. Come. You can't. You know what I'm saying? Sure. And so I want to talk about. I want to talk about something real quick. You had some um, 
Six one five and Scoots had a big show last week. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Boosie and Rob for yeah. now opened up for him. You know, you know what I'm what? saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Hey, we are the first yeah, they hosted me, it. You they know what I'm saying? They came like, to see me. How you, how you make that and happen? Cousin, People open it up for you like that. Hey, you man. know what I'm saying? Shout my cousin's on that stage lit the yeah. entire yeah. time from start to finish. Yeah, that's man. Just, that's how he's doing. I didn't perform, man. I didn't want to do it to him. I didn't want to do it to him. But shout out Boosie. Shout out Rob for now for opening for me. <laughs> Shout out all the performers. Not on real tip though. That was a big. Uh, that, that was, was a. Big. That was a big. Uh, that was a big. Like that was a big event for Nashville. Y'all did y'all thing out there, Bree, Avion. That was a big event for Nashville, and I feel like. You know we what? We do I more think. of that. It's, it's unstoppable, bro. With for the sure. media platforms, and, with and, all of us out there, it's unstoppable. This. Shout out to John because John. I want to link John Smith is the guy who uh, presented the opportunity to me. He asked me, you know, he's like, "Hey, how you feel about this?" Who you think? Woo, woo, woo. And I gave him, he came back with, like, he, so John was the mastermind as far as, like, who was on that stage. You know what I'm Thanks. saying? Obviously, he allowed us to have our people, um, you know, to, to support us and be a part of the, like, the experience. But John um, definitely was the one who gave us the uh, opportunity. So I just want to say major, major shout out to Shout John out to John. And one and thing, one thing, I don't know him, but my mama and stuff know him. They got good things to say about him. I want to link with him. I want to meet I said, I, I talked to him a little bit out there, but one thing, John, you see, he came and linked with the youth. He came to the youth. Yes. You feel me? The youth yes. is the future. Yes. If we do that in other platforms with rap, with the music, with the all this stuff, bro, because uh, it's, it's unstoppable, bro. Uh, Ham, shout out Ham. I was talking to yeah. him on the phone one day. He bro. said, uh, Schools never got a business because it's a new, it's a new right. kindergarten every year. Yep. It's a yeah. new, it's a new first grader every year. So yep. they never go go out of business. So yep. we got to keep pouring into these youth. You feel me? We can't, we can't gatekeep. We can't, we can't stop a young artist because we feel like they go take over. Yes. No, nah, we can't get behind these artists. We can't, we, we can't get behind. We, we can't keep getting behind our homies for protection, bro. We got to really Facts. get behind these artists that's talented. Facts. You feel me? Don't be scared because you think they go take over your spot. That's going to make you look better, fool. Yep. So us as OGs, we OGs. Now we got to keep pouring into these youth. You feel me? The Starlitos, the Bucks, the everybody's. I, yeah. I salute everybody, but we gotta really pour into the youth. You feel me? 100%. And and that's how we go. That's how we go get big, bro. That's because the only thing that's holding Nashville back is we not pushing each other, fool. And I feel like a lot of these artists been on the forefront where they could have did more and put Thanks. Nashville on that big stage, but they was just stuck in their own little like stuff. I wanna. I they, I, I, I don't mean to interrupt you, cause and I good. totally agree. Like that's what I'm it's passionate been. about that. But topic. I want to, and me too, I want to, like, even, like, stop that conversation, like, of, like, that being the narrative of Nashville because we are in position now. Now, we, yeah. We, we moving, we moving different. So, it's like, now. it's not, yeah, yeah, now, that's what I'm saying. That's all we can, we didn't get the help, but now it's on us to go, you know what I'm saying, and get them and do what we, you know, do our part. So, right. um, I just want, I was like, when it comes to that, it's like, we doing it. Like, we're actually doing yeah. the work. We're actively out here. You doing it. Bree doing it. I'm doing it. Thanks. You're doing it. I like, just want people to see that when they see us doing this, yeah. it ain't always examples. been like this, bro. Yeah, you ain't. feel me? A lot of a lot of people that we looked up to didn't we do didn't this shit for it. us, yeah, bro. So it. that's why we doing this, because we know how far that go. Yes. You feel me? It might be somebody in middle school right now who look up to me, and I, we show them love. Thanks. They go, they, they go remember that. that for the rest of their life, bro. Yeah, I man. feel like that's honestly why I'm honestly able to come back and drop music and just still be able to do an Al Six podcast. Because when I was doing them middle school tours, them you. kids remember that, bro. I still see people to this day. Oh, I remember you came to my school, man, and it's always love. I never had a negative interaction. Knock on wood, you feel me? I never had a negative interaction. These people, they, it's always love. It's never trying to get we anything off me you feel me exactly you feel me i remember me? that i remember them yeah. moments like it's always like when we it's like we always have like you know what i'm saying that 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 that, that moment but it's like we be needing that just a little bit more we be push, needing that push from that the fucking fredo ruthlessness even when i signed my deal with empire like i reached out to a lot of these dudes and i know they seen it they you feel me? It's just like, bro, like, come on, bro. Yeah. With the Fredo Ruthless, he was fucking money back, yo, endless them, bro. Why right. why are we not seeing why What's are we this? not seeing the city behind these artists, bro? Right. This is right. this is the youth, bro. Like I understand a lot of people I'm probably gonna make a lot of people mad, but I don't even give a fuck. Like a lot of people, bro, we 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 gotta stop that shit, bro. We we the youth, bro. Yeah. We we the youth. And yeah, a lot of people had their time, a lot of people still got their time. 
if it, we if we can shine it on each other and work together, that's just gonna make a lot of people look better. Everybody yeah. working together. Come on, that's got that's not gonna take nothing from you but, shining light but, on me. That's also, gonna make you. That's gonna big you up. But also, um, be more vocal to to people. You know what I'm saying? Like if it's somebody, uh, it ain't offensive to say to reach out. Even if it's like a buck. Like hey, buck man. Um, we just want to make sure you see us out here. You know what I'm saying? It's also humbling for actually you to take the step too, if you're not already doing it, to reach out to some of these guys and just and just you know what I mean and just let them know how much. I don't reach out to these guys a lot, and you know it's, all, it's always to, love, like when to, I see them yeah, in person packs. or whatever. But uh, first time I and I, I, I listened to Buck coming up. You feel me? I ain't gonna lie. Like I told Buck this, like bro, you we can't deny what you did, bro. When I was a kid, I had your post on my wall, bro. Like you was you was him. You feel me? Like we seen you on TV, bro. You was motivation us, bro. You feel me? We use motivation us. When I seen him, he was like, yeah, I've been, I've been heard about you. I've been knew about you. Uh, yeah, I know your people and all that. I never knew that. I, I didn't right. think you ever seen me. I never, I didn't, the fuck? <laughs> we in Nashville. What the fuck is going on? Say something, nigga. You feel me? Say like, something. bro, and I, I, and I respect, but, but that's just the fucking honest yeah. truth, bro. No, I, no, I, you feel no, me? Like, I feel and I, you. and I listened, and I got your music downloaded on my phone, bro. First time I, when I, when I actually sat and talked to him at the studio with me and Ariana was there, not to put you in it, but he said, I've been knowing you. I've been, been knowing about you. I said, I'm 615. So I said, I've been to know about you. I know your people. You feel me? I, I remember you as a little nigga. That's his words. You feel me? I never knew that. You feel me? I done reached out to you. How many times DM'd you? How many times? I like, right. fuck? Yeah. I got a little motion too in the city. Like, come on, bro. I would have loved that support from you, bro. Hey, we I don't want even give a fuck now, though. I no. swear to God. And, 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 but this is the thing about it is, we, and we, we don't fuck if you allow to support. I do want to support, but if not, fuck it. Yeah. Oh, most, most of it 100%. Nah, you got to make it up. It is bro. what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, we I'm like, I'm like just self motivated. Yeah. I don't mean to come on the pod, yeah, on the nah. platform, but like, bro, I, I, I just. You know, I'm media. I'm media now. I feel like, bro, that's what the this what the city needed here, bro. Because if, we we if you we, ain't telling the truth, we respect you, you these tell guys. The and I'm saying this out of respect <laughs> for them. I'm saying this out of love and respect for people like Buck, Absolutely. for people like them. Yeah. You feel me? I can go to Minerva or something right now. Knowing, knowing we know each other, he probably won't even say nothing to me. We probably, you feel me? And it's yeah, fucked facts. up. It got to be like that. You feel me? 100%. But I'm at the space right now. Fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. But see, I've, and that's what I'm saying. It's like me being like. And that's why I feel like I come in. I am the feminist. Like, I'm the voice, but I'm a female. You know what I'm Two. saying? So it's just kind of like I do understand your heart, and I do understand, like, your space in that, like, from that stance of being a a, a younger artist coming up, you know, and, and needing it and wanting it. And then, like, now we're at a space where, you know, I'm not in that younger coming up stage. I'm, I'm solidified. You know what I'm saying? I, people know exactly who I am. And now it's just kind of like that awkward space where it's just like, all right, is you gonna be on board? Like, are we on board or are we not? On me, if y'all on board, cool. if y'all yeah. on board, I love to have y'all yeah, on board. Yeah, yeah, if y'all don't on board, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, that's you what I'm saying. Me? I don't give a fuck, bro. But that's I'm where we it. at with 100. it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if you gonna hop on the train, hop on the train. If not, cool. Like, the train's still gonna take off, and we it, still gonna. We go yeah. to talking about that later. Go global. When I posted that picture, uh, that somebody contacted me. I was like, "Hey, six one five, we together." They said, "The whole nav ain't together." Well, we ain't talking about the whole Nashville. We talking about the actual people that we're doing it. Yeah, that's doing you know what actually saying? actively so, out here. And, and, and once yeah, we show them we doing it, it's yeah. just gonna be it's, 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 gonna, be, it's gonna lead to other stuff. Yeah, and other connections, other collaborations, all of that. So that's why it's just like I think right now what we doing the work. We doing like, work. If we exactly. gonna and we gonna get to where we need to be, and we gonna solidify that. We are gonna stamp that, and that's what it's gonna be. Like we are gonna change the game for all the generations yeah. to come. And so. I definitely feel like Nashville is changing. I definitely feel like Nashville is changing because we doing it now. Yeah. Like I said, we working, and we we doing it. We the yes. we the ones now. Like we 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 becoming them ones now. Like they we still need to fresh. know the media. Exactly. exactly. The media is actually it's running. It. And I wanted to uh, compliment on your outfit for this weekend, for that Labor Day hey, weekend. Do you have a stylist? I do. Shout okay. out to Miss Kim. Shout out to the stylist. Shout out to the stylist. Okay. She I knew you was coming, right. but I, you know what I'm saying? Hey, she always do her big one. And then that was, you know, pretty little things. Y'all count y'all days. They sent me a, a, a skirt with a broken zipper, but it's okay. Fashion Lover came through, you know what I'm saying, with that one day shipping. Yeah. So, yeah, no, we grateful. And uh, yeah, shout out to uh, Kim, Kimberly. Uh, Slim Pickens, she is amazing. That is my stylist. Book her, just book her on the day hey, that, that I that I don't book her though. Look, that's what. I'm but yeah, she definitely had, had me clean. Had me clean. Um, yes, and look, we got we can lot, got a lot we can cover, but I just wanna I wanna keep this first one. I want to keep it meaty and yeah, short. You know, yeah. and it wasn't short, been a long time. But uh, 
hey, I'm so happy that you're here. Yes. I just really want you to know that. Like, yes. I'm like so I'm like, excited. It feels good. It feels you know good. Saying? And and I'm 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 happy to have this seat and be here because a lot of people that come talk six one five exclusive being one. I know their story. I know yeah. it. I know it in and out. I know it for, as a cousin. I know it as a as a as a industry uh, oh, yeah. person. I know it, and I know it as someone being on the outside, just seeing him walk it through. So it's just like um, having these conversations from a different perspective. Not you may not always, you know. what I'm saying know all the things that these, I don't. you know, say that we've been through. Uh, I didn't know so. y'all was cousins. I thought y'all, I, I thought y'all were finna say, we used to best around in eighth grade. Oh, <laughs> no, that's my cousin. No, that's my little cousin. Nah. Uh, we, we truly grew up together. I mean, taking trips. I mean, like, we really, Everything. like, yeah. really family. Um, but, um, yeah, no, that I'm just grateful to have this seat and to have these conversations and, you know, uh, do it, do it with you, Ricky, because everybody in the city respects you, respects this platform. Everybody may not agree with the different guests that we have, but we, you know, this is a platform, and that's why it's called a platform oh. because you have to open it up to, to all everybody, views, all every sides. side, you know, all right. sides, and so uh, that's a part of being a journalist, and you know, that's a part of the game. So, you know, we know what come with that. Can you give? And uh, I'm glad you uh, brought that up. Because I want you to uh, give six something. You have to let him know a journalist is a journalist. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're not um, in, we love everybody, but we have to actually do the job. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and talk about what is necessary to talk about. So, yeah, I mean, I mean, cause I feel like he know that. Uh, and I feel like that's why his platform is doing as, as amazing as, as it, it is, is because. He's offering his platform to everybody. He's exactly. an artist himself, but he still is selfless enough to offer his platform with other artists. And I mean, it don't get, it don't get, it don't get Do you no more get love than that. Yeah, somebody come on your platform, be like, "He hard." You ever get jealous? Yeah, no. Nah, I'm glad. I'm glad it's on my platform. You feel me? Because it. I'm glad it's on my platform because I love to push that. It. I want it. I need that. It I might go viral. That's I my think name it's time on it. Me, me, the goat to come back. I want to see. You know what I'm saying? Man, like, I, yeah, I hit. I hit. I hit up for. I hit up for the last did. time. Hey, I hit her for the last time. She was busy with every round of thing at Vibe. So okay. I plan on having her back, and I plan on doing other little stuff. But I want you to clip this part up too. Where y'all said uh, it don't even matter what side of town you from. When you got a platform, I'm offering this shit to the world, bro. So if you from out east, if from out north, out south, out west, I don't give a damn. I don't care. No, for real. Like, I don't care who, if you in it, I don't care what type of street stuff going on. When you come to aisle six, when you come to these different platforms, when you come to aisle six, you good. I'm going to make sure you good. Like, of course, pray nothing happened, but I know it's a lot of stuff going on, especially in the city. Yeah. I don't give a damn what side you from. When you come to aisle six, you you coming to aisle six. As long as we respect each other, you feel me. As long as we 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 go do business, because at the end of the day, this is a platform. It's a you feel me. I don't care. I don't care about none of that. And um, that's that's what the city need. The city yeah. need to see this. I'm from out east, but it, I love I love to do stuff for all sides. I don't give a damn about the streets. I'm not in the streets. I don't give a damn about none. Of that. I take care of my kid. I love that. I go to work every single day. You feel me? I got aisle six. That's my platform. It's the dream that I'm pushing. Yes. You know, I need everybody. I need every side to, Appreciate to make this you shit for go. For clearing that up. Yeah, like, you feel me? I don't care about none of that. We, it's, I mean, like you said, we accept any and all. You know what I'm saying? This is what it's for. It's not just yeah. for no one side. Um, I mean, I just want to piggyback off of what you right. were saying. People yeah. be like, oh, you only support me, me, and Sweets. Those are my artists, but I support all the real yeah. yeah, artists. I've been doing this. Like, y'all got to. Do the research. I got to go back. So, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but I did I did want to say that, like he said, I'm supporting everybody. North, South, exactly. East, West. And the guys, the fellas, I'm pretty much tapped in with all of them. So, they they know that. But uh, I just wanted to clear that up with the females, too. Like, I am supporting all Antioch, Lebanon, uh, and White I want to say, And I want to say this real quick. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, and I want to, and, and if you can, oh, I want you to kind of put this somewhere where they can hear this. We need to start supporting everything that Adriana's doing. I don't Thank care what you, you say. Thanks. Like, I'm 100%. This ain't if, – if she's doing a Tuesday night or a Wednesday night or a Saturday night, like, um, in good faith, like, everybody need to come out. And I'm not saying come out every single time. That ain't right, what right. I'm saying. Uh -uh. But uh, we – and I mean – and I'm saying this about her. I'm not – when she's doing an event, something, please – Everybody need to come out. I'm telling yeah. you, it's going to be worth it in the end because no matter how this thing go, 
when you don't support it in the beginning, it ain't no use to come in in the end. I mean, mean, and not saying that you're doing nothing wrong or right, but you have to support people when they're on the come, even though people that's on this platform is already there, but I'm just saying they still are doing events and stuff and just support that. That's all I'm saying. Yep. Because a person is going to remember that, boy. Yeah. yeah. The support in the beginning, like, I swear to God. We remember. Yeah. We remember. I mean. I know you remember. Six, you yeah. remember the yeah, yeah, your yeah. beginnings, like, them the people that was there. You know what I'm saying? I feel like those are those people, like, they we don't never, we don't never forget them. Man. Like, ever. Man. Them first shows, them yeah. first, when nobody's there, you know what I'm saying? You got bookings, and you don't know if anybody going to show up. Them four or five people there, like, it's yeah. noted. Like, it's. It's, it's implanted it's in your brain. Why so. you think A is here? Because she noticed me right. coming it's to everything. You know? yeah. Every TV show, every <laughs> she, radio show, I'm every there. mixtape, every he supported. Well, you know is. what I'm yeah. saying? So And that was just genuine. That wasn't yeah. even wanting. Looking I don't even want no one I support. Yeah. No more, you know exactly. Sure. But look where it leads to, though. It Look, Amazing one, things. one thing about it, I'm going to say this. Uh, Avery Honor has hooked me up with so many people. <laughs> Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And not the connection. Right, but I have to we we have to give our people they props right they, you know what I'm saying have connected me with so many people. Uh same thing with Kwani and just just a, a lot of people. And just be off love. You it don't need Six is connecting me with a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Early on in my day, you know, and when I'm I'm trying I'm like, hey, can you connect me with this artist and this yeah, I got you. I got. See, can you draw? I mean, anything like. No, I don't even remember that shit. It just be genuine. Like, you it's feel just me? genuine. Can you yeah. send me this video? It. Can you record this and say this? Like, did it? You know what I'm saying? So it was. It was. It was a no brainer. Yeah. Uh, at the peak, when he could have been like, "Girl, you keep irking me." Like, are you in college? Yeah. I'm down here winning in my city. Leave me alone. You know, he could have forgot about new yeah. generation. You know oh, what God. I'm saying? But oh, he God. always responded. So. Uh, I think we all just have those moments in those in those seasons in our lives. Real quick, hey, I want to ask you this, and I've been wanting to ask you this. Okay. When you first graduated college, you moved to Cali. Immediately. Immediately. And, again, I know this might be his question, but what made you say, I'm going back home? Well, a job. Uh, but I was homesick. Okay. Yeah, I was ready. To, I, was, I, I feel like I... I, I soaked up and seen everything I wanted to recreate in Nashville. You're not there by yourself time. too, do you? Yeah, by myself, Dolo. Daddy myself. Pat wasn't with her or nothing, you know no. what I'm saying? And he did not want me to go, so oh, okay. he only came and visited me yeah, one time. Your pockets was probably with her, though, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah, and, but, yeah, his pockets was probably <laughs> with you, huh? <laughs> Man, <laughs> no. Pockets, he yeah. wasn't going for that yeah. either. I had to get out there. That's a good home. learning experience, though. At least you went out there and you yeah. tested the waters. Had, a lot of people don't take that risk. If you took that risk. Your pockets was with me. You know, you're absolutely right, because. Y'all, everybody who blessed me from college. So all that college money, that's what sustained me for get? about. How much you think man, it was? I had like $7,000, y'all. I went Ooh. down there. That was about like three or four months. And I I made it work. I groomed dogs. I uh, worked at Domino's Pizza. I was a seat filler. Baby, I had all types of hustles. <laughs> What's in a seat Well, you go to profe- show, yeah. Yeah, professional uh, TV shows, uh, TV films, and you just sit and clap when they say clap. And <laughs> it's a movie oh, called C. It's, a, it's like a movie called C. Filler too. Yeah. What uh? What you mean, people who bless you from college? What you mean? Uh, so you know, you graduate, you get money. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I just had a little graduation stipend. Seven thousand for college graduation. Yeah. You know like, it <laughs> it's a good little graduation. Yeah. So yeah. That, that, that's what that was. So but I want to, I'm sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. No, you're right. So I want to ask y'all a question, man. So I'm, I'm on my media side now. Hello. What do y'all feel like Nashville need to get to that next level? You want me to answer that first or you, or you got that? I want y'all to be totally honest. Um, I won't. I w- let me, let me answer first. I'm going to make my answer short. Okay. Um, I'm going to be totally honest. I'll be honest. Tell the, tell um, the truth, Ricky. The, the people got to quit acting like they seeing something that they, they ain't seeing. When you actually see the platforms and the people that's actually doing it and not flogging and faking, get behind them. Um, everybody's done got behind Al Six because they saw Al Six came in running, gunning, and shooting. 
everybody's behind if you're a live subscriber because they see if you're a live subscriber is actually doing it right and yeah. ain't stunting and nothing faking nothing. They're actually behind Adriana because Adriana is actually doing her job at the height. And so more people need to say, hey, yeah, uh, I know you rapping, but they really doing it. And I'm going to get behind you too, but I'm going to actually go get behind them. And so people actually have to start co-signing and get behind. That's why I highlighted Star, what he was doing, Starlito from the beginning, because he's actually doing oh, it. Yeah, he's actually doing what, what he you doing wanted. What? Yes, you know yeah, what I'm he's saying? Doing, he's he's, he's doing, doing what you need. for the new artist now what you feel like you wanted or needed in that moment, and, 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 you know, when you, when you were starting to rap. So he's doing... Just what you're asking for, just a little. What you asking it. for, just a little later on in his career. If I'm okay. if, if if I'm highlighting one person, like Lido is doing it because he's actually talking to the young artists and working with them, and and just it's just like you saying it ain't nothing but a conversation. I was a uh, Bree was talking about he was on the st- phone with Star a couple of hours the other day, which I don't know if I didn't put their business out there, but and that's what our artists is needing. They're needing people like Star to say, hey, let me go pour him him a little bit. It's just a conversation. It's just a DM. And and we need more people pouring into the people that's actually doing it, to be honest. That's why I was just talking about Avronda. Like, Star showing up for her TV shows and her hostings and stuff because she's actually really doing it. You know what I'm saying? Aisle six, make sure we're sharing. Yeah. That's a big thing. I'm going to keep on pointing out. Make sure we're sharing each other's stuff. Even if it ain't your biggest highlight of a share, somebody that follow you might love it. You know what I'm saying? And so exactly. that's where it's, it's 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 really got a lot to do with sharing people platform. You know what I'm exactly. saying? I think I do it all the time. I was gonna say I was gonna say I think what 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 I think it's gonna take is literally just us continuing to and then I know it's like super simple, but literally showing up for one another. Thanks. Like, we keep showing up how we showing up, how we showed up at the Labor Day barbecue festival, how we showing, showing up, up, like, and people, we like. We pulling video, showing video, up. Yeah, showing <laughs> up. But I also think um, we, um, I'm a female, so I really, uh, w- w- this is just me saying what I think, what I would want to happen. I don't know if it's possible, but, like, we got to clear this this street stuff up. Like, it's, it's like, you know, like. We got hot people from all over. So I'm thinking what's going to make us, if you get Gates, if you get Fredo, if you get all these, all the hottest artists that already got you, you know what I'm saying, a, a big top on one song, you ask me how, how it's going to happen? That's how it's going to happen. You but it's going to take, take an OG or somebody who... They all adore, and we got to weed the young people out. We got to just get the artists with the artists. It can't be click for click and gang for gang. It got to be the artists and the artists and the whoever is going to rectify and say what what what's this going to be. And I done talked to a lot of these guys. Trust me. And I feel like a lot of them, I feel like I, I, got, I, feel like I got their respect from a lot of them. I don't care what side they're from. I feel like I can make it happen, but... It's just a tricky, tricky situation, it man. It's just a tricky situation. Because like, you can way. tell these people the vision or whatever, but some one wrong thing don't go that way. They can get mad and but it ain't boom, it. boom, boom. That's what and I'm if saying. Happen, and then it's on you. It's on me. That's why boom. I'm saying it got to be somebody with greater street power. It got to be. It can't be. It's going to be the same uh, for them, too. Because honestly, I might got more poor than them well, niggas. Well, this is me? the thing, then. But we got to take the, the, the young people out of it. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying the young homies. It got to be. Us, it literally got to be us because we the ra- like our people our age group. We have to be. It has to be. I don't talk to a lot of the big Fredo, homies too. It has to, and, like I'm and saying, everybody, everybody sound like they with it. Same, but everybody sound like they with same. it. But you gotta understand a lot of stuff that went on out here too. But so yes. it's a, everybody, everybody still on edge too. Everybody still want to make sure they good. So like I was telling everybody, man, everybody just gotta. I right, ain't nobody gotta be buddy buddy, but if we if we can come together and just. Get it and done. do a show or some or just or just but stop the dissing in the music. Fuck all that. Di- yeah, fuck, fuck the fuck the, that's, that's the, the main music. thing. Stop the dissing in the music, but it ain't even gotta be us all being in the same room. We can work. We to don't get have to, to be that. in the same room. Exactly. We can yeah. get, send a track one step at a time. Exactly. exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it, it can, it can happen. It's just 
somebody got to be in position to do it. Like, and I feel like it has to be a male. I feel like I was able to do it for the females. And I feel like if I can have the protection that I feel like I need. It got to be a strong male. To be honest, to be honest, though, listen. The protection that I need, I can make it happen. But you know, y'all be tripping. To be honest, yeah, exactly. Like, it's just. Okay. Like I said, I be I'm, I be having conversation with all these dudes. Like some people, I haven't had conversations with yet. But when I did like a a little tribute to the city, all of them got on there and commented. So you, it's got to be some that, type of respect on there. I'm pushing. talking about all of them. I don't want to say no names, but all of them, yeah, literally all know. of them, so everybody. Stain, shout out to Stain. Yeah, I haven't. Um, and hey, I think you can make that happen. I want to get some of those guys in here. Stain, ABK Gates. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, then that's we can, easy. You know what I'm those saying? are phone calls away. Okay, they love that. I mean, just yeah. on, you know. I want to get some of them. Right I don't have a, okay. Yeah, and 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 they don't understand. That's what's holding them back because a lot of, a lot of a lot of shows, a lot of people might not want to mess with them because they might feel like it's a danger. It's you a feel me? Like y'all got where it is. You feel me? Y'all can rap about what y'all want to talk about, but when y'all get to saying dissing and saying names, bro, like that's that just that's takes stuff to a whole nother level, and it's hard to come back from certain from stuff. And it's a lot a of danger. stuff that happened out here, like it, it's it's hard to come back from it. So right. when you just tell people to like just squash it, a lot of you know, you know, little young niggas ain't trying to hear that. You feel me? And I and I and I, and I, resp- and I can't be mad at them right. for yeah, it because a lot we, of stuff. Everybody done lost people on each side. You feel right. me? But at the end of the day, it's gonna take time to get there. But we gotta find out something. And I feel like it, together, even if it's just something small, that, because everybody got kids, everybody, everybody trying to live. You feel me? Everybody yes. done lost enough people. That's it. You feel me? So I feel like even if it's just bringing one person from this side on my platform, one person from this side on my platform. You feel me? And I feel like it's in the works. Like I said, I, I done talked to a lot of a lot of different dudes, and if you go down the timeline, you'll see people from different sides. But uh, even if it's just small stuff like that, and like I said, uh, all that other stuff go have to happen over time. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that happen. Yeah. Oh, that was that was you know saying woo that was that what I'm talking about. Like he said, that "I know that was a real conversation." Was, yeah, it. I got I got a little scared. I was like, "Ooh, did we go a little deep here?" Now, but uh, but again, uh, man, look, um, this is the first of many. Yes. If you're That's live, subscribe with the Buzz of Cash Real, every other personality, and, and um, six one five exclusive man, we out here. We want to thank you for coming. For sure, man. I appreciate y'all, man. I six. Let's get it.